This video will show how to install Deep Lab Cut onto the CPU and launch the GUI and label some videos. So I'm following the instructions from the GitHub course provided by Deep Lab Cut. Um, again, this is for the CPU, not the GPU, and we are doing this on a Windows, so the instructions could be different on a Mac or a Linux. So I already have a folder on my desktop um, called DLC, and as you can see here, it's empty. So what I'm going to do is clone the repository for Deep Lab Cut um, into this folder. So first I need to set the current directory to my desktop, and then from there I will set it to my new folder that is empty. And then I will paste this command here, which is just telling it to clone that git repository into this folder. It will take about a minute to install. Okay, now that it is installed, I'm just going to open the folder and look at it. So you can see inside here we have a folder called Deep Lab Cut, and then we have another folder called Conda Environments. So in order to do the installation, uh, we want to direct it to this folder right here. So this is my path there. Your path might be different depending on you know what you name your folder and everything. So now we're going to create the environment. You can do that by just copying and pasting this code here. And I've already installed this before, so I'm getting this error right here. But whenever you do it, it should install the Conda environment. Once you have Deep Lab Cut installed, you can enter the Conda environment using Activate DLC CPU. I'm just going to copy and paste it from our notes. And then you can see here now we are in the um, environment. So from here, I'm going to launch Python in the terminal. And then I'm going to import Deep Lab Cut. Once you have Deep Lab Cut imported, you can use any of the commands that are down at the bottom of the DLC notes where it says basic terminal commands. You can use any of these here. What we are going to do is launch the GUI so that we can start a project and label some frames. So this command will open a new window here, and this is the GUI. So we're going to go to Manage Project, Create a New Project. I'm just going to name it to Test and put my name, Load Videos, and we are going to go to the Desktop, My Deep Lab Cut Folder, and examples, and we're going to use the open field example. Select the video there. And then we're going to make sure that this saves to the desktop. And this is not a multi animal project, so we're going to leave that unchecked and press OK. This created the new project, and when it does this, it creates also a new folder on the desktop so we can open it up. And look here, we have the config file, we have the videos folder, and then we have folders for the training data set, the labeled data, and the models. So you can see in here that everything is empty. 
but we will fill them up soon. So under Manage Project, after the project has been created, you go to Edit Config File, and we're going to change here the labels for the body parts. So we're going to put nose, left ear, right ear, and tail base. going to remove the spaces and we're going to leave everything else in the default settings so save your config file and exit next we'll go to the extract frames tab and we are going to use um, all of the default settings and just press ok so now if you can see in the terminal window it's extracting the frames This will take a minute. Okay, so you see the terminal says that we can now label the frames. So we're going to go to the next tab. And we're going to select label frames. And then we need to load them. And it's under label data, M3, V1, MP3. We're going to select that folder and you see our frames imported here. So now we're going to label the body parts and we're going to go in this order here. You just press um, right click on the mouse and label the body parts. So the, these markers are a little bit big so we're going to take it down to about three and you can zoom in and um, refine them okay. and then go to the next frame and label again. So the way that I label the left ear is based on this side being left and here being right so if the mouse is facing up then the left ear is um, on this side. You can see that the mouse is facing down here so the left ear is on this side. And just go through and label all of the frames. This will take a minute or two. Once you've labeled all of the frames, then you can save and quit. So this will come up and ask you if you want to label another data set. So if you had another video, another set of frames to label, then you could put yes. We only have one video, so I'm going to put no. And next we're going to check the labels. Okay, so it completed the check, and now we can create the training data set. So you shouldn't ever have to change the config file setting because we set that up under manage project. Um, here you have a few options for what type of network to use and the augmentation method. We are going to keep the default settings for now. and press OK. So you can see here that our training data set was successfully created and we can use the function train network to start training. Now this is very um, computationally um, ex expensive for the CPU so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to show you how to do is to run the rest of the analysis 
in Maverick 2 from TACC. So this is all for the GUI. And the next video will show how to get set up into um, using Maverick 2 and uh, transferring your files and then training the network in there.